chamber here to check out a new amp that I have. It's the Moval Crunchbox amplifier. It's loaded with two 12AX7 tubes and one EL34 tube. So it's reminiscent of that of the Marshall amplifiers in terms of setup. This amp features two channels. It has a clean channel, which also has a gain control, and then the dirt channel as well. Both are really musical. This amp takes pedals extremely well, and I'm gonna be using this a lot more on my channel, so let me know what you think of the tones of the amplifier. If you'd like to find out more about this amplifier, you can head over to the Movol website. All the links will be in the description below, as well as right here, so let's go. All right, here's some clean tones with my Fender Stratocaster loaded with a set of Zex coil pickups. Bridge pickup. Now with the Overdrive OD808 on. Back to clean now and I'm on the neck and middle position. and clean it's just got a hair of dirt on there the way that I like it if I roll back the gain control on the amp it's gonna clean up even more but I kind of like it like that let's try it now with the Shelly Pony Boy pedal which is kind of like a clon with a bit more of a vintage sound <laughs> Just switched the switch on the front of the amp over to the right, which now engages the dirt channel of the amp. Let's try this. Bridge pickup. Let's try it now with the Maxon Jewel Booster, which is a clean boost pedal, and I have it on the vintage mode. The gain's now at about one o'clock. Let's give this a shot, neck pickup. Awesome, let's try it now with the Pony Boy on again. Pedal's now off, let's go ahead and turn down the guitar and see how much it cleans up.
with it back up. Over to my ES335 now. This is a Tokai guitar made in Japan. And I've just cranked up the gain on the dirt channel a little bit more. So let's try this. bit of delay thanks to the AD10 by Maxon. And now with the delay and the clean boost pedal by Maxon, the dual booster. Booster off. The gain on the amps now all the way up. Let's try this. With the Maxon Dual Booster and the AD-10 delay pedal. Thanks for watching, my name's Shane. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions about the amplifier or the demo, please let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. It's a great sounding amp. Four watts of power doesn't seem like a lot, but it's actually quite loud. But the benefit of this is, when I'm using it with my Randall isolation cabinet loaded with the Texas heat speaker from Eminence, it sounds extremely nice when it's recorded. So I hope you like the sound of this. I'm gonna be using it more on my pedal demos. In the effects loop of this amp, I also had my Boss Fender FRV1 reverb pedal, which is my personal favorite reverb pedal. Sounds great, hope you like the sound of that. And yeah, had my pedals going into it on my board. I thought it sounded pretty nice. So let me know what you think. Thanks again for watching and leave all your comments below. I'll speak to you all soon, see ya.